But how to use ratios? We have seen in different videos what is a ratio, what is a rate, how to use them and how to represent it, but ratios are meaningless if we don't use them with this next word that is called proportions. So in this session we're going to see what are proportions and how you can represent them. Okay, before we start, we need to understand what is a proportion. And to understand what is a proportion, we just need to know that we have ratios that could be equivalent. So, for example, if I wrote the ratio 3 to 5, and I write the ratio um, 9 to 15, and I represent them in fraction form, so... 3 over 5 and 9 over 15, we can see that both ratios could be equal. If I amplify this ratio times 3, I'm going to get 9 over 15. Oh, sorry, 9 over 15. So it means that both ratios are equal. So every time, every time you have two equivalent ratios, we're talking about a proportion. So in this case, we have that 3 over 5, or 3 to 5, is equal to 9 to 15. So these two ratios are equal. We're talking about a proportion. So we, ju we just can tell that 3 is 2, 5, as... 9 is to 15. This is the way in which you can establish a proportion. So the proportion is establishing by writing 3 is to 5 as 9 is to 15. This is essentially how you should read this proportion. Okay? So it's pretty simple. Every time you have two equivalent ratios, we have a proportion, and the way to read it is 3 is to 5 as 9 is to 15. This is the way in which you have to read the proportion. Okay? Now, but the question is, how can you notate this proportion? Is there any other way to... to to represent the proportion? Is there any other way in which we can write this proportion? Yes, there's another way. The other way to represent this proportion is by using the column 3 to 5, 3 is to 5, and then we need to write these like two consecutive columns to show as 9 is to 15. This is the way in which you can represent a proportion. This is the other way. So we have the written form and the other way is the equation form and this is like the form in which we're using uh, our columns to represent a proportion. This is the way to write a proportion and this is how you can identify whether a proportion is true or false. So let's say that somebody tells you Something like, hey, I know that 2 is to 10 as um, 5 is to 13. So it will be interesting if you right now pause the video and try to check whether this statement is true and why it's true. Because one part of observing proportions is to understand when people are telling you the truth or not. Sometimes people don't have any idea of proportions and assume that proportions are equal, that there's a proportion when there is not.
So if we write it in math form using mathematical notation, this is the way to write this proportion to 2 is to 10 as 5 is to 13. And finally, we're going to see in the fraction form 2 is to 10 equals to 5 over 13. And you just need to review whether these two fractions are true or not. So in this case, look at that. If I want to see if these two are equal, I need to try like to have equal uh, common denominators maybe. So for example, I can multiply, I can amplify this fraction by 10 and I can amplify this fraction by 13 and I'm gonna get 26 over 130 equal 50 over 130. Look at that both fractions are not equal so this proportion is false. Okay, this proportion is false. And this is how we're using our notation to see whether a proportion is true or false. So just remember, just remember that the proportion is when you have two equivalent ratios and the way to say it is is to and as, those are the keywords and you can use colon and two consecutive columns to show the proportion statement. And finally, just for you, as a practice, review and tell me in the comments if the proportion 3 to 25 if this proportion is true 3 is to 25 as as one point five is to twelve point five. Okay? I will be eager to answer your comments to see if you answer correctly or not, to help you to understand if it's correct or not. I hope to see you in the next video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and like it and see you to learn how to solve proportions using cross products. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.